Hey guys, welcome back to our Jays Dynasty mode coming off back-to-back -back World Series championships. Now it's time to hit the offseason here and figure out who we got to re-sign, who's going to walk, and how much money do we have to really play with here. Uh, if we take a look at our team goals, we completed all of our three-year contract goals, two of the one-year stretch goals, so that should give us a little bit of a bump in our budget. Budget's just under 100 mil right now. Hopefully we can get up like 110, give us about $20 million to work with. And see if we can retain most of the team here. Uh, Alright, so let's advance here. Okay, budget got increased by 6.1. So that's a little bit less than what we were hoping. Blue Jays have offered an extension as manager. Uh, yeah, let's let's review first here. So the new contract goals, three years, make the playoffs one time, sweep, sweep a rival four times, and hit 490 home runs. Yeah, I think our first three years, our goal was 460 home runs, which was a lot. Now up to 490. We need a lot of power for that. One-year stretch, lead triple in saves, hit 250 with double-A team, win a silver slugger. That we'll be able to do. Lead at MLB in strikeouts. Should be able to do that and have the least runs allowed. I think we were pretty good defensively last year with our fielding, so that might work. Yeah, let's accept it. Let's stay in Toronto. Alright, so retirements. I don't think we have anyone aging out on us just yet. We'll take a look. Yeah, no one of value. I think this is old double A guys and below now. So let's continue the draft order. I'm assuming we'll be picking 30th. Yep, yeah, there we are. Alright, Jimmy Veritek, starting pitcher. 18. He's got a couple pitches. Let's go with him. Got another pitcher here. Ramon Collar, not destined for good things though, forget it. Uh, this guy, oh, pickoff move of a zero, but his fastball is already an 82, that's pretty good. Let's grab him. I think we need a lot of starters. Okay, the starters are done for the draft, so that's okay. We can go in here now. Pitching, no. Lots of catchers, apparently. Let's go with Flores, probably. He's 19. Good fielding. Uh, John Paul is a third baseman. Second position, short. That's good. Fielding's not great, but hopefully he can improve that. And then, oh, the shortstop could... Oh, both these guys seem scouting report. Um... I like Ramirez second. He's 19, and he can also play second. Let's go with him. And then the rest looks like they're just going to be minor leaguers. That right fielder might pan out. I doubt it, though. We'll see if we have enough room to sign him. All right, draft review. Let's see how good he was, the guy that we picked up. Oh, he's pretty good compared to the guy the Brewers, Bre the Brewers took in front of us. Brammer, he's not, he's not very good. Both are 18 as well. We'll take it. Alright, contracts bank. We have 48 million and we have a lot of guys to re-sign here. So let's start in the MLB. Yes, Davis, we definitely want him back. 1.9 million, that's a steal for Davis. Absolutely. Broussard, 2.5. Yep, we'll take you. Benson, yep. 1.6. Reigns, absolutely need him back here. Uh... Everett wants 5.3. He was pretty good. He's also he's only 25. I think he's just going to keep getting better. Let's hope. Let's sign Everett. Uh, Gary Austin. Yeah, this guy's good. Although the only thing I worry about is that his he's got a straight face, so he's not thrilled to be here. He might demand more money here. Let's see. No, me accept it. All right. That's good. Uh, Durazo. Yes, Jared Cook. Yep, starting left fielder. Now we get into the pitching where it gets a little sketchy here. Uh, we got Choi, who wants to be a reliever. He actually did quite well for us last year, so we'll keep him around. Tucker, he had a rough start, but it looks like he, he figured it out by the end. We'll keep him around. Bueller... Uh, he ate innings, he got wins for us. The ERA was not pretty, though. His career ERA is up to 553. He's 24. I don't know, do we give him one more season here to give him a chance? I feel like we just keep giving him chances, though, and he just, he's not panning out, you know? Uh, we have Peavy, Willis, Everett, 
Hernandez is there, he's 30. Perez is 29, 28, 29. Yeah, I mean, Bueller and Everett are our two young guns here. Might as well re-sign Bueller, have him around a little longer. Graysinger, hopefully he gets better. Yeah, you know what, we'll keep Bueller. We have a lot invested in Bueller. Mind you, Wells... Yeah, I know, Wells, we're done with Wells, I think. I don't want him back here. Release him. Uh, Bueller, yeah, we'll sign you. And then um, Etherton, he was a good backup. What is he? He wants to be every day, though. That's tough. You're not, a, you're not an everyday player here. But we'll sign him. Gotta, gotta keep this team together somewhat. Um, so this first baseman, he's pretty good. He, he wants to be in AAA, so let's sign him. Mendy's, uh, you're not that good. Release him. Jesse Crane, yeah, like, these guys just aren't that good anymore, unfortunately. This guy, top 100 prospect, second position infielder, back up the MLB. This guy could definitely be a bench piece for us next year. Yeah, let's sign him. Mario LaRue. Uh, yeah, he's 22, he's pretty good. Chris Perez, yeah, he's 23, let's sign him. We're down to 17 million in the bank. Phil Ginter. 23, so he, there's there's potential there. Uh, this outfield, he's 28, forget it. Goats, I want to trade him, but we'll sign him again. And then Molina's 27, to get rid of him. Mondesi, no, you're done. This guy's 20, he wants to be in the MLB. Like, man, you don't have the stats to be there. This guy is a lefty, yep, yeah, let's grab him. Wagner, lefty. Kaz, oh, he's 27. He was pretty good last year, though. That batting, oh my goodness, zero contact. But he's got power against righties. That's funny. Yeah, we'll sign him. Have a veteran pre veteran presence down there in the double-A system. This guy, sure, why not? Miller, 27. Yikes, yeah, he's done. Traber, uh, decent player, sure. And then Chad Fox, 40 years old. Yeah, this guy, not coming back. Alright, so we re-signed everyone. Payroll's sitting at 91 million. Our budget's 106, so that gives us about 14 million dollars to work with here. Uh, we need 85 players, and we have 85, so that's perfect. Time to sign the Rooks. Veritech, Williams, Floors... Paul, yeah, we wanted him. Ramirez. And yeah, this guy should develop to be decent. The rest of them, career minor leaguers, so I don't think we'll touch them. There we go. Free agency now. Who is good out here? Who who can we sign? Morris is our backup catcher. That's fine. Oh, wow. Catchers in double A. We have four of them. I think Goats definitely has to go, and yeah, and A, those guys are older, don't want them down there. Uh, first baseman, yeah, we got depth there. Second base, not too much depth. Ditfirth, very solid. Oh, he wants to be double A, sure, we'll try and sign you a double A deal. Is that Spivey? Oh, Junior Spivey, this guy wants what, MLB? Don't want him. Third baseman, lots of depth here. Uh, short stops. Yeah, we, we we got quite a few. Jimmy Rollins, though, is available. He's pretty good. Oh, never mind. That feeling's down to a 50. I thought he would have been better than that. Uh, center field, Broussard and Coco. Okay, we don't have much depth there, so we could sign another guy. Like, who's this? El Santerra? Double H? Sure. We'll go with that. Left field. No one in A. That's the only thing. Uh, we have, like, there, there we go. Price. He's young. Double A? Sure. Might, might send him down. Right fielders. No one in double A. What does this guy want? He wants MLB. No. 22 for AAA, no. 
I want to double a guy. 22, career minor leaguer though. Improved his game. Yeah, let's go with him. Alright, now into pitching. Yikes. We got some issues here in pitching, it looks like. Okay, let's go to this call up send down so then we don't have the computer signing a bunch of players for us. We gotta level level the pitching out here. So one, two, three, four. Um actually yeah, let's just go back in here. Let's just do the fives and we don't have to sign too many guys. So at one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so let's send Hernandez down so he can satisfy Triple A has five starters. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. And that just means that we'll need to sign guys for Oh double A, we have a ton. Okay, let's send them down as well then. Call up send downs. Uh, Williams is going down. How many do we need in A? There's one, so we need four more. Okay. There's two, three, one, two, three, four. Oh, five. Okay, so yeah, we have five in double A. We have three down in A, it looks like now, so we just need to sign two to the A team. Okay, perfect. Let's go down the list here. He wants double A. Oh, he wants triple A, damn. Okay, let's just sign them and then we'll place on the team that we need them. No, 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 no. Spot start in triple A? I don't think so. This guy double A, sure. Him. Batista double A, sure. So that's two. We need the. Th yeah, I think we just need those two, right? And then we might as well sign one more. Just to be safe. Alright, relievers. Mendez is the best reliever on the target on on the market, and he we released him last year. So yeah, definitely don't want him. These guys, uh all the ERAs are terrible. Durazo's gonna have to stay. Choi hopefully gets better. Buck should be getting uh he had a bad season last year. Tucker and Billy Alvarez. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping these guys just improve on, on their own. Hideki Fordyce, he should be getting good again, though. Tadano's a vet now. Car Carter's getting old. Yeah, we have enough relievers, though, in the systems. Okay. Yeah, so for the MLB team, I don't really see any area that we need to sign guys for. Like, we have enough there. We have enough there. Outfield, yeah, like I'm happy with what we're rolling with here. Uh, Josh Wells, we released him. He wasn't making our rotation, so Brazelton's old. Robertson's 33. He's 30. Yeah, there's no one really to sign here. All right, let's advance. Uh, we have Batista sign and waiting on Taylor and this guy, Jason Barlocher. Barlocher. There we go, got some more signings. Yeah, Willie Price signed. All these guys signed. Okay, good. And then I'll just have to put them on the right team, and hopefully the computer doesn't sign any more starting pitching for us. There we go. Everyone accepted. We have 98 players. I think max is 100. So we're good there. I just want to double check the A team's looking okay now. One, two, three starters. Okay, so let's get two more down there. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, okay. Where? Oh, you know what? They've probably signed it. They've probably been placed on MLB Club, haven't they? Yeah, there they are. All right, so Batista's going down to A, and then there should have been one more, no? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Is he in AAA? Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there he is, though. Those two. Alright, uh, yes, I want to do A, send, oh, okay. Sure, Santana's coming up. There we go. So, pitching, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Alright, so let's finish that. Let's just advance through the weeks here, and then get into spring training. There we go, time for spring training. 
Auto select, and here we go. Let's get through this. Alright, final spring training game. We're playing, playing Houston, sending Mario LaRue to, to the mound, and pull off a 5 2 victory. Very nice. Alright, let's see the player progression for this year now. Okay, so PV got better. Nice. Coburn, our best fielder now. Contacts up to 100. There we go. Maybe maybe this is this is the year that he breaks out. I know last year in playoffs, he was our worst batter. But like those stats now, like lefties 90, 97, 100 contact versus righties. Can't go wrong. That's MVP level numbers now. Davis is looking good. Baco's getting better. Still, Reigns is getting better. Willis is good. Benson's good. Yeah, David Wright's starting to fall off a little bit. He's only 28, though. That's fine. Uh, Everett improved good. Austin got better. Ooh, wait, sorry. Austin's speed even went up to an 83. Uh, Perez stamina. Ooh, took a big hit down to an 88. Durazo's getting better. Hopefully he doesn't want to become a starter soon. Jared Cook's up there. Valentine, this is the guy that we were saying who might be getting called up to be a backup for us. Yeah, because he's signed as a backup. He can play infield. And I think he's better than Luis Gonzalez now, because I haven't seen Luis Gonzalez on this list. Buck's better. Coco got worse. Bueller, okay, he got a little bit better. Fastball went down, though. Don't like that. Uh, Kohlmeyer, he's, he's got a good bat. That's good good trade bait, I think. Four dice is better. Okay, so he should be starting in the bullpen for us. Choi went down. That's too bad. Hernandez, yeah, he's nearing the end of his career here, I think. 3.8 million. Ooh. That's a lot to pay him to be a long guy back in the pen. Yeah, there's Gonzalez getting worse as well. He's uh, he's going to be fringe. He might not even be on the team this year. Grasinger, he could be a long guy for us back in the pen. Morris, yeah, Tadano got worse. That guy that we signed to a double A deal, he's pretty good. Alvarez. Okay, yeah, this is into the AAA now, it looks like. Well, it looks like most of our guys on the big squad are getting better, so that's good. Carter's getting a lot worse now. He is he is donezoed. Alright, so let's go into our positional rankings here. Moors, yeah, Bird, Goats. There we go. Oh, no, Helms has to be up here instead of Mears. Mears is down there at 7. And Floor is slotting in on the bottom. Bus, that guy, Womack, yep. Oh, one, one too far there. Palmero's in there. Quantrill, Ditforth, Etherton, Reigns. Benson. Oh, Gonzalez is really falling down the list here. And O'Connor's not there. Okay, yeah, so you know what? Let's remove everyone. I want to take David Wright out of there too, just to get an idea of what we have at third. And then I can plug him back into DH if he should be DH in this year. I think Wright should be our DH again. Cook, Munson got better, and Fonte dropped. Taguchi's down there. Price is up. Alessandra, Little, Jones, Coburn, Williams, Alvarez. Michael's down there. Newberger over there. Perfect. Okay. So let's optimize it, and let's see who they're putting in as DH. Okay, yeah. David writes the easy decision to be the DH, so we don't even have to update that. Um, inter Yeah, so Valentine's naturally up there. Let's go into the rankings here and just look again. Cole Meyer, uh, at third base, is he? I don't. Th I don't think we need him. I think he's a good, good trade bait. Let's try and move him. Etherton, I want him up there. Right, Valentine, yeah, that's fine. Davis, yep. Munson, who's this Munson guy? He's got bad feeling and bad speed. I don't. I don't like him up here. Don't want him. Oh, that guy's got terrible speed out of twenty-nine. Okay, so maybe we can trade our backup first baseman, this Cole Meyer guy, for a backup outfielder. I mean, we we already have Coco, but wouldn't mind to get another another guy. Coco's got good speed, good fielding. He's also got a good bat. This guy sh should be starting somewhere. Uh, pitching, we got Perez, Peavy, Bueller, Everett, and Willis. Yeah, I like that starting five. 
Four dice, and her na oh, four dice has been promoted to a starter. Damn, I thought he was gonna be a reliever. Still, that's too bad. Okay, use him as a long arm along with Hernandez. We got Tucker and Choi in the pen. Buck is our setup man, and Durazo still closing it out. Honestly, I like the pitching. I think we're okay there. Uh, just the call ups and downs. We want to get rid of. Who was it? Munson, right? Yeah, send Munson down, bring Etherton up. And then what's the lineup looking like then? We have the backup catcher, Kohlmeyer, who's probably gone. Valentine, who can play the infield. So he's our new Luis Gonzalez. Also a top prospect. So this guy might be pushing someone out, out, out of their job. Benson's, what, 26? He's not going to pay too much, though. Almost a thousand career games already for Benson. Uh, he's got better contact than Benson. And Benson's a way better fielder, though. Coco, Etherton. Okay, so we have the infielder. We have a backup outfielder. Etherton can play short. And then Morris. I think I, I think I gotta adjust you to be able to play first as well. Because we'll need Bako getting rested. But yeah, we got Valentine can play the infield. Coco can play the outfield. Etherton short. Yeah, I think we're okay. Maybe another outfielder. Yeah, so we've tried to play, trade Kohlmeyer, maybe. Um, well, how far down the list is Kohlmeyer? Like, what, what's his ranking here? Okay, so he's like bottom tier, bottom third of our squad. Let's see if we can get an outfielder of some sort. Lopez, no, he's old. I want a young outfielder. Any of these guys? Oh, he's 22. He's a top prospect. Eight career games, three hits. Very good fielding. Yeah, this guy would be a good little project to take on. Top prospect, right fielder. Who's our right fielder right now? I'm trying to remember. Oh, it's Coburn. Yeah, we're not moving on from Coburn anytime soon. This guy's going to spend his career here. But it's not bad to get that depth. Uh, Kohlmeyer, yeah, we're not going to be using him, I think. Maybe we hang on to him, and then if we need him, if we need to keep him like a deal to get a pitcher or something, we'll keep him for now. It's it's early. All right, so that was the off season, boys. I think we will end at there, and then next video we will start off the simulation and see if the Jays can go for their third straight World Series. Oh, our three year contract will changed. Hey, when we signed, the goals were different. Okay, so the new goal, we have to win a World Series in three years, sweep a rival four times at the same, hit 600 home runs. When we signed, it was 490. Now we need 600? Wow. Okay. Well, I think this team has enough power. We can probably do it. That's a good challenge. Uh, the one-year stretch goals are all the same, so that's good. Syracuse ranked first, New Hampshire's ranked first, Dunedin's ranked fourth, and Toronto number one. We got some good teams here, boys. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe for more of these videos. And I'll see you in the next one.